What is going on today guys, AU here, and today we're bringing you another battle laddering video, just like we always do. Um, today we are battling on the UU ladder, which I haven't battled on the UU ladder yet, so this is going to be pretty fun. I've been doing like a bad deck, PGC. Um, but we're going to touch in a little bit of UU today, and the reason for that is because in TBA, um, they were doing a UU tournament, uh, where you pair, you pair up with a, a, another person, um, y'all sit in a call, battling it with other people as they're sitting in the call. Um, make a UU team each week, and this past week, me and Mr. Polo um, won our first week in that, and this is the team we used, and I think the team's actually pretty good. Um, Ditto itself seems to run UU, because um, UU is, is a lot of setup Pokemon. Like, once you're set up, you kind of win, and Ditto stops that, so that was kind of our key, our key Pokemon in this team. We also tried out like Cabalion, we tried out Rhyperior, we tried out um, Roserade, uh, and this is what we ended up with. We ended up with Double Darmanus and Celebi, Ditto, Rotom Wash, and Sylveon. Um, but before we get into all of that, I do want to say that if you are new here, subscribe and hit the like button as I fix my layout, um, because that's what's going to help me out the most. And um, I'm, I'm still debating on something, but something kind of like a, a channel update kind of thing. I might start doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads and Tuesday, Thursday streams um, just because I want to be able to uh, take the streams and cut the streams down and put them on YouTube but while recording and having school and stuff like that I just don't have the time to do video streams and cut the streams down. So I think what I maybe started doing is uh, like I said Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads, Tuesday, Thursday streams and then the streams will be uploaded to YouTube at some point. That way I can uh, stream like midday, Tuesday, Thursday, edit the streams, maybe upload them to YouTube that night or something. And if you've missed the streams, I do have a stream that I just did two nights ago for you, um, which is why I didn't have a Thursday upload because I was trying to figure out how to save the streams and how to upload the streams and stuff like that, which I still haven't figured out. So uh, bear with me on that as I try to figure that out. But um, yeah, that's just kind of a little update. So we're going to jump right into some battles. I'm not going to really break down the team that much. You'll kind of see how it works through, uh, you kind of see how it works throughout the video. But, um, and that, you can try, <clears throat> you can see us testing out for our week two right there too. But we don't, we have no idea what we're bringing for week two yet still. Um, but yeah, so in Haxorus runs you, you can see that Haxorus is actually getting a uh, suspect test, which I don't, I'm probably not going to vote for. Um, just because I don't really play UU that much, so I don't really care, but Wait, what happened to my team? Oh, this is a completely wrong team This is a completely wrong team. Hold on. I need to figure out what my What my team name for this is is it in UU? It says week one TBA UU Am I dumb? This one It's This one. Okay, we're good now. Good now. I'm just a little slow. Just a little slow, uh, just like this search, the searching is for finding me a game. All right, all right. So, Salazzle's kind of scary, honestly, and Toxtricity is also kind of scary. So we need to watch out for those. You don't see many Malamar um, that much, but they'll be on to be able to deal with Malamar and the Graplock. Uh, Gigalith is gonna have to be dealt with by Dublade. It, uh, it looks like, and. I think if Celebi gets up a nasty plot, we can actually just win. But yeah, we have to get a nasty plot. I think here, I think uh, Darmanitan is a, a pretty safe lead. I would say you, we have Scarf Darmanitan, so you can always kind of get the uh, the pivot out if you need to. And does anything on his side want to take a earthquake? Like not really, but also at the same time. Um, if Claydol comes in, I don't want to be punished for that. Some of you turn out. I had a feeling he was going to stay in. Like, why would I think he was going to leave? I don't know. But I had a feeling he was going to stay in, but I'm just going to go Rotom here. I'm going to sub. That's what every Salazzle does. Every single Salazzle is going to sub. I'm actually going to Volt Switch out here. Go for the Toxic. That's fine. It's going to break. I'll go back into Darm. Go back into Darm here, I think. It's 328. That's 66. Yeah. I'll go back into Darm here, and I'll go for the go for the earthquake. Me bringing this in, okay. So they go Gigalith. 
Um, we'll get a, a good hefty earthquake off on this thing. That does a lot of damage. I think it just earthquake again here. We should go into clay doll, but uh, see what they do. They do go clay doll. That's fine because I kind of have a switch into uh, kind of a switch into Rotom every single time. I feel like here, um, where I could go Celebi. Gigalith is at a point now to where if I go Celebi, I think I'm. Yeah, I think I'd just go Nasty Plot Celebi here. Psychic hits Toxtricity, Craplock, and Salazzle. Giga Drains should do a lot to Malamar. And it's gonna do it. Obviously, it's gonna do a lot to Claydol and uh, Gigalith too. And we even have U-Turn for Malamar if we need it. Like, U-Turn's gonna do a big chunk to Malamar because that four type four times bug weakness. So, they're taking a little bit. All right, so Malamar does come in, um, which I felt like was, was going to, but we can just U-turn out here. I can U-turn out and I can go into Sylveon. Yeah, see, that does half. Um, that's insane. We go Sylveon here. They went for the superpower. Um, what do I think they go here? Salazzle, maybe? Do I read Salazzle? I don't think I read Salazzle and I just go for a Hyper Voice. I don't want to. Yeah. Okay, so they went Toxtricity. Um, their Air Balloon. I think Toxtricity is going to be faster than me. Probably. Probably. I think I go Dublade against Toxtricity. Shift Gear, that's fine. Uh, they are just. They're just raising their. Uh, they're just raising their attack. I mean, their speed. We got Swords Dance here. See how much this Overdrive. Does a lot actually. Go for Shadow Sneak. Uh, that didn't do as much as I wanted it to. But see, this is the thing with Ditto. Now we just come in with Ditto, and uh, we go for go for a ship. I mean, an Overdrive of our own. It could go into it could go into uh, Claydol. Maybe just go for Boom Burst. Because at least now Claydol can't just get a free switch in. They could giggle us. That's fine. I think I'd just go, uh, let's go Celebi here again, maybe? Or Rotom? Actually, I think I'll go Rotom. Yeah, so we went for the Earthquake. Um, I'm going to full switch out here. I don't know if, I don't know if Hydro Pump actually takes this thing out in the stand. Because we, we don't have any special attack investment on Rotom. So he stays in. I think I go into uh, Celebi here. Surprise, he stayed in. Curse. Okay. Um, I'm going to Nasty Plot because now I just actually, I actually just win if I Nasty Plot. Oh, never mind. He hit Stone. <laughs> um. Yeah, never mind. He hit Stone Edge. <laughs> um, I think Darmanitan. No, not Darmir. Go Rotom here. And we go for Hydro Pump. We hit the Hydro Pump, that's good. Get rid of Gigalith. Now that Celebi's gone, we might have a kinda hard time ish. He's gotta go either Grap Locked or, or Malamore here. So it does go Grap Locked. Which I think I'll Volt Switch out. I go into Sylveon. Just for Circle Throw. Does that switch me out? It does. So he drags out Ditto, which isn't horrible. Um, I think I'll go for a Circle Throw of my own. Just Clay Doll. We miss. I don't even know you can miss with this move. We go uh, Rotom here. Nothing wants to take a Hydro Pump now. He's in headbutt. Actually did some damage. Did a good Rotom's toxic, I'm not super happy about what Rotom is right now. Once we get some chip off on this thing though. Yeah. If it goes for Grass Knot. <laughs> that didn't actually do a lot. I thought Grass Knot was actually about to do more than that. But that didn't do a lot at all. Once we get some chip off this and obviously Grap Lock, um actually we have a we have a good bit of chip on Grap Lock. Um, 
I think Darm kind of just comes in. Actually, not yet. I don't think it does yet. I think what we have to do is go... Through here. We go Darm, and we U-turn. Actually, no. We go Darm, and we Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz. That do into the puzzle. I'm actually gonna run that calc real quick. Darm and Flare Blitz does 73 Scarf Sheer Force. Okay, yeah, I think we just Flare Blitz. I think Flare Blitz just wins. Our mana 10 is so strong in UU. Always scarf to mana 10 so strong. Depends on what item this thing is. It's, it's black sludge, so it could very well be kind of bulky. So I'm actually gonna go ditto here. And they toxic us, which that's actually kind of good for me. Uh, I'm gonna go flamethrower. I want some chip off on this thing. I really want chip on the salazzle because then flare blitz wins. They just earthquake now too. I don't know. I don't know how much earthquake is doing grab block or Malamar, but Sylveon takes care of both of those things. Okay, so he's gonna let us get the chip we need. Just for the sub, I'm not actually too happy about that. How much did the flamethrower did? 25. So we might can break sub here. We might can break the sub here. If we do that. That's nope. We can't break it. Or we'll we break it here. We can break this up here, and then they might just sub up again, and then we have to get the roll or they protect. But now, now we know the Salazzle's move set, and it's only, it's only uh, flamethrower. So they don't actually have a fire move for Sylveon, and. Actually, Flare Blitz just wins now. If they're max HP, uh, it does 60 to 70. I think Flare Blitz just wins now. Because there's no way Malamar's loving Flare Blitz. Yeah. And Graplock might, but Sylveon just comes in and it's that. I don't think it had Iron Head or anything. Plus, it shouldn't be faster. Like, they shouldn't be running speed on this thing. Go for Sucker Punch. Oh, I didn't even... I remember it had Sucker Punch, but I didn't actually think about it. Go for the Hyper Voice. And it looks like we win. Okay. So... Yep. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. Um... The game could have went a little bit smoother, like I'm not entirely happy about how that game went, but there were some Pokemon that you don't really see a lot on the ladder in that game, and uh, we kind of threw away Doublade and Celebi a little bit too early, I feel like Celebi was our win on and we just kind of throw that away a little bit too early. Now here's a UU team, this is what you see in UU. Um, they're going to lead either Noivern or Cabalion, I think, maybe even Haxor, all of which uh, can you turn out on with Darmanitan? Yeah, I think Darmanitan is probably the lead here. I got Rotom. Okay, I actually didn't expect Rotom. Let me U turn out on a Celebi. Get some chip off on the thing. They might go for. They go for Hydro Pump. That's great. That's kind of what I want them to do. Um, It could be Scarf, but we're still faster. Actually, we'll probably go into Sylveon here. Probably go into Sylveon. If they Volt Switch out, though, it brings in Cabalion. Which makes us go into... At least if they we Volt Switch out with Celebi, they go in Cinnor, the Rotom. Yeah, I think Celebi's probably the better answer. They go for the Volt Switch. Probably go into Incineroar. I think a Norbert would go Sylveon if they go in Cinnamon or we go Rotom. Um, 
We just U turn out here. Go Rotom. Surprised they didn't uh, not, or parting shot there or U turn themselves. Um, but I'm gonna Volt switch out here. They don't have any. They don't have any uh, ground types to stop me from Volt switching. And there's no way he lets me. He is gonna let me. Okay. So I think I'm going to Ditto. Ditto is a pretty good answer to Incineroar's. I, I was like, there's no way he lets me Hydro Pump this thing, but he was just willing to, so I guess I'll remember that for next time. Um, we get a Choice Scarf Parting Shot off on whatever's coming in. That's kind of good. Brings in Rotom. That's okay. That's fine with me. I'll get a Parting Shot off on this thing. We'll also get a look at the move set. The overheat Toxic, so that's kind of... Uh, so they're like super slow. Or they're they have to be men speed. Not men speed, but they like they have to know speed investment on their Incineroar, which is also kinda good to know. We go back to Celebi now. Um Do I go for a Giga Drain or do I go for a U-turn? He hasn't been switching when he needs to. Like he hasn't been hard switching. Go for this Giga Drain. We have switch ins to what he would in so okay so he hard switches that time which which is good to know but Selby can uh, come out faster or switch out faster so we're gonna go out into Rotom again I think so it does go for the parting shot that time which it's kind of surprising to me like if you're the incineroar there you just go for another knockoff Go for Rotom Wash. I'm actually going to Pain Split here. Let's we'll see what kind of Rotom this is. Uh, he probably has Energy Ball on his Gardevoir. So if he goes Gardevoir here, that's definitely what I'm looking out for. Yep. So... I think here, I go Celebi. Moonblast. That does a lot. Lucky's definitely specs. Is that specs or is that scarf? Do I need Celebi that much though? Um, U turn. Okay, so it was definitely specs. Go Sylvie on here, and I'm gonna get a wish off. Because if he goes Cabalion, I go into Rotom. Okay, so it did 36, the first one did 36. Uh, I think we can Hyper Voice here. We're pretty safe to Hyper Voice here. Okay, so he's gonna let us get our wish back. And he's offensive Rotom. That's pretty offensive. A wish again. He's missed two Thunder Waves. I feel so bad. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> um, that's definitely not great, but I'm gonna go into our own Rotom here and uh, get this wish. You can't, yeah, you can't Thunder Wave us. Get this wish and uh, volt switch out. Should take down that Rotom. Yep. Okay, so their Rotom's gone, which is really good. That's actually uh, really good for us. I think I go back into Sylveon here. Maybe I go Dublade. <laughs> I feel you, bro. <laughs> I feel you. I would not want to be you. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> um, there goes Incineroar here. It's actually. Uh, it's actually okay for us. I just go for superpower. Should take that out. Oh, we got a low roll. Just for the parting shot. Goes Cabalion. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this because like he just saw, he just saw the, uh, just saw the superpower. But I think I go doublet here. Yeah, he should go for rocks. And I'm a swords dance. Go Incineroar. Shadow sneak. Get rid of this thing. Uh, Hagstress comes in. I think that's okay with me. Hagstress? Hagstress? Uh, uh, Earthquake? Does Hagstress KO us with Earthquake? I guess we'll find out. Uh, we didn't play that many games with Dublin, so I don't know the matchups that well. Um, and I don't want to switch into Rotom because he has Mold Breaker, so. So uh, I'm a Shadow Sneak here. Yeah. 
Yeah, the hacks are rough. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he was talking about the hacks. I'm not gonna lie. His hacks were, were pretty bad that game. But um, yeah, that's that's gonna be it for me. So I hope you like what you saw. Um, trying to you know just kind of have a little bit more chill time while I'm recording and uh, just have some. So uh, if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.